Hello, thank you for watching our video discussing types of genetic testing. I am a member of the Genome Connect and ClinGen patient data sharing program team. Each of us have millions and millions of cells that make up our bodies. We have different types of cells such as skin cells, brain cells, and heart cells that are our body's building blocks. Our cells contain structures called chromosomes. Chromosomes hold our genetic information or our DNA. Our DNA is our body's instruction manual, telling our bodies how to develop and function. Each instruction is a gene. Chromosomes keep all of our genetic information packaged into our cells. Typically, people have 46 chromosomes that come in 23 pairs. Our chromosomes come in pairs because we get one set from each biological parent. The first 22 pairs of chromosomes are typically the same in individuals and are organized based on size with chromosome 1 being the largest and chromosome 22 being the smallest. The 23rd pair of chromosomes are called our sex chromosomes. Most people have two sex chromosomes. Some individuals have one X and one Y and some have two Xs. Individuals assigned male at birth most often have an X and Y and individuals assigned female at birth most often have two Xs. As mentioned, each of these chromosomes is made up of DNA that is wound up very tightly, almost like a ball of yarn. Our DNA provide instructions for how our body makes proteins. Each instruction is called a gene. We each have approximately 20,000 genes that we inherit from our biological parents that help our bodies grow, develop, and work. Each gene has specific roles within the body. Some determine our eye color, some help our heart develop, and others are important for brain development. Every gene is made up of parts that code for proteins, or what we call our exons, and parts that are cut out before the gene is used to make the protein, what we call our introns. Our genome is all of our DNA, both the coding and non-coding portions, exons and introns, while our exome is all of the coding portions of our genes, those exons. Genetic variants are changes in our DNA. While most of our DNA sequence is the same from person to person, we all have variants. Some variants can affect how proteins work in the body and cause developmental or health differences. Others are just part of what makes us who we are. There are genetic tests to detect these genetic variants, which we will discuss in a few slides. Another type of genetic change is called a copy number variant. Copy number variants are genetic changes where a person often has thousands of extra or missing letters within their DNA. These are large missing or extra pieces of genetic material. If a person is missing genetic material, this is called a deletion. If they have an extra piece of genetic material, this is called a duplication. So, if we think about our genetic material being like a shelf of instruction manuals, a copy number variant means that a person is missing books or has extra books. There are other types of genetic tests that can detect these types of genetic changes. There are three broad types of genetic testing, a karyotype, microarray, and sequencing. There are many different types of sequence testing. We will start by discussing the broadest test, karyotype, and make our way to more specific testing at the individual gene level. A karyotype is a test that we used to use quite frequently, and it looks at all of the chromosomes for large copy number variants. With a karyotype, we are actually looking at our chromosomes under a microscope. With this testing, we can identify large missing or extra pieces of genetic material, or even full extra or missing chromosomes. We can even look to make sure chromosomes did not swap material between each other, called a translocation. By zooming in a bit more on our chromosomes, we are able to identify smaller copy number variants. This testing is done with a chromosomal microarray. Some of these copy number variants are associated with health concerns, and others are not. If we want to detect sequence variants, we need to zoom in even further to look at the individual letters of our genes. This is done through sequencing. Sequencing looks at each one gene or multiple genes of interest for any variants in the genetic code. Some of these variants are associated with health concerns and others are not. There are two types of sequencing panels. Some individuals may have single gene testing when only one gene is analyzed for variants. This may be done when a clinician is suspicious that one gene is the reason for a person's symptoms. If there is a known variant in the family, single gene testing will also be done but will only look for that specific variant. It does not look at the entire gene. Gene panels use sequencing to look at variants in a specific list of genes that are tied to certain health concerns or developmental differences like seizures or autism. Both whole exome sequencing and whole genome sequencing typically require samples from a person's biological parents. Exome sequencing uses sequencing to look for variants in all parts of our genes that provide our body with instructions. 
As a reminder, these parts of genes are called exons, and all of the exons are called our exome. Whereas genome sequencing looks for variants in all of our genetic material in the coding and non-coding portions called our exons and introns. All of our exons and introns are called our genome. Thank you for watching our types of genetic testing video. If you have questions, please reach out to your healthcare provider or contact Genome Connect. We hope you view some of our other videos.